Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Tiafima Lopez is saying that uh, Lomachenko is trying to make it difficult to have a fight signed even before the coronavirus came around. So let's talk about it. We back. Good fellow Sports TV. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And one of the things that people don't know is that Lomachenko contract is set to expire with um with top rank pretty soon. Is what I'm hearing. So, I mean, maybe he they may think, you know, they're trying to cash him out. But uh, I've seen this at BadLeftHook.com. I put the article in the description. I think he was speaking to ESPN. He said, we gave Lomachenko the bigger cut, the bigger percentage. He got everything we wanted. We conceded everything. And he's still complaining. Talking about he don't want to fight in New York. He wants to fight in Vegas. Uh, the reason for that, if people didn't see videos I did on my other channel, uh, he said that uh, Bush got hacked, which I'm waiting to get back now. So it's a process I got to go through and I'm hopefully everything go through good and I'll get it back soon. But he says that, uh, excuse me, Nate. he said that basically that, uh, you know, he holding the fight up. He ducking. He, he don't want to fight. You know, this dude come out here and these motherfuckers say, oh, no, Mischenko. All these fighters are match made to their abilities. All right. That's just the, that's just the God honest truth, man. Um, everybody is match made perfectly in matchmaking is one of the most important ingredients into making a boxing star or making a top fighter, um, you know, matchmaking. Everybody ain't fighting killers. People look at Lomachenko, bro. Oh, he beat Nicholas Walter. He came off a year layoff. He beat Rocky Martinez. Mikey Garcia did it already. You know what I'm saying? You can poke a hole at any of these dudes' resume. None of these resumes is solid. And it's hard to have a thorough, solid resume until your career is over with anyway. You know what I'm saying? People just, oh, he ain't fought nobody. He ain't did this. He ain't did that. But all these dudes is match made to be successful. You know, they all match made to look good. And Lomachenko no different. He know Tiafima Lopez. He under his skin. You know, and he, oh, don't want to fight in New York. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a Vegas fight. Lomachenko, you don't have a fan base to dictate where fights gonna happen at. If you did, you can drag motherfuckers to the Ukraine. And they were saying that Eddie Hearn said that when he fought Luke Campbell in the uh, UK, they lost money. So if you ain't a pool in the UK, you still fight in the theater room, bro. Let that marinate for a minute. Y'all pound for pound champion King Lomachenko still fighting in the theater room. Part of pound for pound is popularity too. He ain't popular. So how you gonna sit here and demand some shit? The nigga gave you the cut, the bigger cut. The bigger percentage. They gave you everything. Your name on the poster first. You walk last. All that shit. But he trying to do any little thing to finesse his way out this fight. You know? And they said, well, there's no rush. You know, everything is good. It's clean off saying. No, they intimidated, bro. And then Top Rank is telling. Top Rank is telling these dudes like Tiafim Lopez don't go so hard on them. Oh, don't verbally abuse him like that. Don't make him look bad. I ought to tell Top Rank, suck my dick. You know what I'm saying? They making this shit soft. It ain't my fault he don't speak fluent English where he can't defend himself. Let your fist do the talking. He trying to get grim. He trying to get gully with him, and they protecting Lomachenko. And then, you know, the people in boxing, the clear people, man, this nation, they they don't have a champion, you know. So they they anybody that look clear like them, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they take them as they own. Tyson Fury. Uh, Lomachenko, anybody that look like them, oh, he's the best I've ever seen, and he's the best, he's his new Mayweather, he could be, man, he ain't shit. Lomachenko is a good fighter. Really proactive because he old and got to be, but he been match made to look good too. You know what I'm saying? He's been match made to look good too. He ain't no different than any of the fighters today. Oh, he, he can't go up to 140, he's too... He's too smart. I ain't trying to hear that. Nothing motherfuckers want saying that about Shane, about Pernell, about Oscar. None of that shit, man. Don't sit here and tell me how great you are if you ain't willing to go up and wait. But you, but, but other motherfuckers fighting you jumping up two weight classes. So fighting Miguel Moraga after he lost to Oscar Valdez. How you fighting Oscar Valdez leftovers? You know what I'm saying? And not to knock him, he's a talented fighter, and he is in my pound for pound list. He's a talented fighter, but. 
All of a sudden, when you put these dudes and you make them, you put them in a situation outside their comfort zone, now they gun shy. Oh, no. Nah, um, ah, who? No, where? Oh, I don't want to fight here no more. I want to. Like, dude, he know the writing on the wall that, that Bob about to cash that ass out. He know Lopez got power. He believe in the Lopez hype. He buying into it. And that's the first thing of mental warfare. I remember Danny Jacobs at the fought Golovkin. I believe that Golovkin had extraterrestrial power. He said, when I got in there with him, it didn't seem the power wasn't there like that. That's what he said. He said, uh, it wasn't like what everybody made it seem like. And once you, once you get, once you get a fighter, believe in the hype, you know, and once, once you like Lomachenko buying into the TFM Lopez hype, that's already a win on Lopez, on, on Lopez, uh, on Lopez chart. He already won the mental warfare. You know what I'm saying? You told me go get a belt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he gets a belt, I fight him. All of a sudden, now you want to fight in fucking Italy. Now you want to fight in France. I only want to fight in Vegas. If you want to fight in Vegas so bad, man, I'm tired of them putting these shitty ass fighters in Vegas. Excuse my French. Seriously, I'm tired of them putting these shitty fighters. Only premier fights should go in. Now nah, I'm talking about PPC. But only top level fights should go on in Vegas. If you ain't fighting in the upper echelon fight in Vegas, no Crawford and Horns, I'm sorry. You know, no Lomachenko, Tiafimo, it's a good fight. But it ain't no huge fight. If you can't sell out in, in Vegas, you don't deserve to be fighting in Vegas. Not at the T-Mobile, MGM, and Madeline Bay. You know, you don't deserve to be fighting in Vegas. If your fight ain't a crossover fight, you know what I'm saying, you don't need to fight in Vegas. Or you ain't Canelo, you ain't Floyd, you don't need to fight in Vegas. You know, and Lomachenko, you just ain't built the fan base. All of a sudden, all these people, all these people, these, 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 these white people and these, 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 some of these Oreos out here, man, it's these big Lomachenko fans. When this nigga fight go on pay-per-view, since he pound for pound, the best fighter in the world, in your opinion, that motherfucker better do a million. He better do a million. You know what I'm saying? He better go out there. Y'all better buy. See, they do all they Twitter fingers, the Coppingers, and, and, and all these dick suckers out here. And he really do like to do that, if y'all ain't know. <laughs> he, really, he, he really go, you know, he really a pin. He really that guy. <laughs> all these Twitter finger dudes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all these Twitter finger dies, man. You know what I'm saying, man? They do all this talking, man. But they don't want to be patrons. See, one thing I can say about Earl Spence motherfuckers, they'll pay. They'll pay to go to the fight. They'll fly out. They'll buy the pay-per-view. Wilder done built that fan base in. They they, they going to pay. It may not be the biggest fan base. They're going to Canelo people. They're going to come from Mexico. They're going to spike the zone subscription up. When he was on HBO, they was buying the pay-per-view. They going to spin. You know what I'm saying? We can't say that about them fan bases. Pacquiao fan base. They gonna spin like Will of Fortune. But Lomachenko, ain't none of his, all his phantom fans online, bro. Ain't none of y'all spending no money on that motherfucker. Y'all might buy a Triple G hat, a Loma shirt, but y'all ain't spending no 85 bucks on his fight. Shit, y'all ain't even, y'all ain't even hitting the free 99 button. Y'all ain't even going to ESPN, channel 202, whatever it is in your cable box to watch Lomachenko fight. All these Lomachenko Twitter fingers out here, man. Everybody got Lomachenko Twitter fingers and YouTube t t fingers and shit like that. But when it come down to pressing that buy button, we'll see what's up. When it come out to flying to his fights, why y'all ain't? Why y'all didn't fill up when he fought the Massacre Garden Theater room with Linares? Why that one pack? You ain't never heard about Lomachenko selling out no arena. Like it, it was only six hundred people for his that bought tickets for the Luke Camp, not Luke Campbell, but uh, uh for the Corolla fight. You know, he trying to dictate where the fight can happen at. If Bob wanted in New York, you need to be in New York. You need to be in a position. The thing he fears, he in a position where he in a position of, of, of uphill battle. You know, he's in a position of an uphill battle. See, everything ain't on his, ain't, everything ain't on his, ain't perfect for him. Everything in boxing been laid out perfect for him. Now, Tiafima Lopez came out of nowhere and now... He younger, he sprier, he bring more money to the table already than Lomachenko has. He better for business for top rank if he win. And this is make a champion. All, all the top tier fighters have been in a position of, of weakness. Been in a position of, of winning fights they weren't posed to. Floyd Mayweather Corrales, Floyd Mayweather, 
And, and a lot, a lot of his fights, man, people don't remember. Mother, oh, Willie win, Willie win, Willie win. Remember people saying Canelo beat him, Oscar. You keep going on and on and on. You know, you keep. I mean, you know, with, with Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, man. Hey, if that was a twelve rounder, he lost. Lost to Duran, came back. Marvin Hagler got you know robbed a few times, and first championship fight at forty some fights, he got robbed. You know what I'm saying? So. This is going to show how truly great Lomachenko is. Lomachenko got to go in there and dispatch uh, Tiafim Lopez. Ain't no two ways around. He got to go in there and give him that work. And if he go in there and give him that work, um, and he dispatch him, you got to get him his credit. I don't want to hear, oh, T.O. was too young. He was too green. He got to go in there and put a, a, Canelo, a Floyd Mayweather Canelo performer so on Tiafim Lopez, but hey, that's my opinion. I'll link the article in the description on the article link. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business question, quiet response, your video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel, cash app, PayPal in the description. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time. Again.